was for a long time here, I think. Yeah, we'll see if we can get it sent somewhere where it has a better chance. This bird, in terms of being shot, is actually a lucky one because rather than having numerous severe injuries, it has a hairline fracture and we're hoping that it'll be able to be rehabilitated. It's going to go for a second assessment with the vet today while we wait for permits to send it to a rehabilitation centre overseas. The pellet terrier has been termed as being fit for rehabilitation, so we've made arrangement to send the bird over to Sicily. Um, unfortunately, we don't have a rehabilitation centre in Malta, which treats these kind of injuries and for these kind of birds. And being a pellet terrier, which is the most threatened, one of the most threatened raptors in Europe, um, we've given special attention for this bird. Um, the bird will hopefully be able to make it to next spring and go back to its country of origin to breed. In order to deter illegal poaching, BirdLife Malta has been organising an international event called Raptor Camp. So Raptor Camp is one of two conservation camps that BirdLife Malta organises during the peak migration of uh, many European uh, birds, most of them protected species. Particularly at this time of the year, uh, we organise Raptor Camp to coincide with the peak migration of birds of prey. Um, basically we are out in the countryside to monitor bird migration and also monitor the problem of illegal hunting. For us it's getting up about half past four in the morning to get organised before Nick gets us all fitted into groups and, and get us out. Um, so it's a long early stint, essentially uh, waiting in the mornings till the sun comes up, um, trying to see what's coming over, uh, watching the hunters watching us and hoping by us being there that they're not actually going to shoot things they're not supposed to shoot. However, the small group of volunteers can't cover the whole island. We just received a call uh, regarding uh, an injured bird. From the description I can get it's a uh, kestrel, probably, or a falcon. So we've offered to go and pick up the bird. We were walking, I decided to jump over there, and it was just, I just found it there right in front of me. At first we didn't think it was alive, then its, it's tail started moving a bit and we, we found the... Yeah. I don't know, we'll take it to the vet. No. Hopefully it works out. Yeah.